Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. Get him, Greggy. Keep it up high, keep it up high. Boy, he's dumping. He is leaving. I'm gonna go after him so he doesn't break us off. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and slide after him. And then you're wet. That's um, 10 pound braid. That's a diamond <clears throat> braid. So I just wanna let you know. And it has a 10 pound mono leader. You right here? Yeah. Bullfish! <laughs> I told you I saw dark. mud, bud. I told rain. you I saw mud. Who says we can't sight fish? Look at that. On a yellow buck juice. What did you say about 20 years ago on a show? If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Come here, bud. Let me see you. I haven't seen you in 30 years in this place. Mr. Bonefish. Rick, my whole life, 30 that's my years first ago. bonefish on an artificial. No. Never caught one on an untipped naked jig before. This is an untipped. God, that's a beautiful Look at the fish. mud in front of us there. You see it out here in front of us? I don't know which way it's going. We're gonna have to slide up and here. drift down. I just want to get a little bit of that. Oh, oh. Mr. Bone, I never thought I would see a sail key bonefish again after being over here working for the Apple and Maps out of Walters Cay in the 80s and the 90s. Gregor. Hey look, he's even tailing for us. Yeah. Look at that. He better move his tail or he's gonna get his little tail bit. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. Hey, look at that. Last season, we met Gregor and Peter Dornow on their 62-foot Viking aptly named Starbright. The original plan was to explore the northern chain of islands, but because of Hurricane Dorian, the course was changed to Andros. Pull him in the boat, Greggy! Captain Rick and Gregor had such a great time on their exploration, they resurrected their original plans. A year later, a newer, bigger Starbright, along with a brand new Maverick to ride on top. All right, everybody on board? Captain Peter guides the Starbright over 100 miles to Great Sail Cay. The island has a natural mooring area for safe harbor, and that's where we anchor for the next many sunrises and sunsets. Tomorrow, we set out to find some bonefish. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha, reliability starts here. Rodan, set it, forget it, catch more fish. Fish Bites and Fish Bites Fight Club Lures. The Costa Pro Series. It's time to go pro. And StarTron. Cures and prevents fuel problems. You ready to go, Buff? I'm ready. It's not a bad floating tent. 66 feet of love. That is 66 feet of love. What a beautiful boat. I'm gonna jump up, here we go. Dude, there's a little blue in the sky. The wind's not blowing 30. You think you can find fish in these conditions? I think maybe. Right. Captain Rick hasn't fished these waters since his guiding days at Walker's K, but he hasn't forgotten his favorite spots. Let me see if I can get the power pole down.
Whoa. What do we got, Greg? Uh oh. Uh oh. He's digging. Whoa. Gregor. Gregor. Hey. What do you think? I think he's a little bit bigger than mine. We stopped. What do you think? I think we should introduce him to the boss at uh, on the big Starbright Viking. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe tonight. Let's see. This is such a tough decision. We have 66 foot of housing and all the boys to feed. So. So maybe should we have snapper and lobster for dinner tonight? Peter makes a pretty famous Francais sauce. Yes. We'll radio him in a little bit and tell him to start chopping garlic. <laughs> he'll know what that means. Oh, right? he'll know what that means. <laughs> okay. It tastes pretty good when you add mutton snapper to it. I bet. So it looks like to me, Greg, when I was here 30 years ago, there was nobody living on this key. But it looks like to me that somebody has built a, a road. It's probably a, a, the ruins of a house. Many would be surprised that a good number of islands in the Bahamas were used for all kinds of military use during the Cold War. Great Sail K actually was used as a satellite tracking station. It was also a key navigational tool for military pilots to start flying west to Fort Lauderdale. can't leave you alone for one minute. Look at the trouble you get into every time I'm not paying attention to you. You get in trouble every single time. How do you do that? Years of practice. <laughs> it's in your DNA. <laughs> Don't tell Peter that. I get that from my mom's side. What do we got? A bone, a bone. Imagine. Look at him screaming off that diamond line, bub. And that's not even the bonefish rod, you know? We use that thinking we're gonna be catching snappers with 20 pound braid. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Come here, bud. Come out here to go catch snapper and these annoying bonefish are getting in the way. How about that? One could only ask. That's another beautiful fish. Yeah. Look, no sun, no live bait, no problem. <laughs> All you need is a little scented plastic like this fish bites. What do you think? He's about, what, an inch longer? Of course. <laughs> look oh, at, man. Look at the, the sun coming through those fins and how well he camouflaged himself to this aqua green bottom with the bars and everything. So beautiful. Thanks, bub. I'm gonna put you back. I know that you're, you're getting tired of breathing air instead of water, so I'm putting you back. Five bone fish, two mutton snapper with one fish bites shrimp. I fish a lot of soft plastics. I have never had one last beyond one good fish. Yeah. Now, a dinner aboard the Starbright wouldn't be proper without a lobster or two. So, as Captain Kevin starts getting the food prep, Harrison, our underwater camera operator, spots some bugs under an old tree. He first makes them famous, then loads them up. On board, the crew knows how to make a meal. Steak on the grill and potatoes from the oven. Oh, and don't forget about the lobster appetizer dripping in butter. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Contender Boats, Always in the Game, Casa Vieja Lodge, Experience Five Star England in beautiful Guatemala, Murphy's Law Sport Fishing, book your trip at murphyslawsportfishing.com, Taco Marine, 
control the edge and diamond fishing products. Our reputation is on the line. Guess what? A full one. Whoa! 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 Coming your way, Greg. I think it's a bonefish. See the mud there? Whoa! Oh! Keep coming, buddy. It's a bonefish. Yeah, Big bonefish, too. Gregor? How about that? Bone dog in on a fish bite. How about that? Hey! Good morning, sunshine. You know what? I told you about this place. And uh, we had days when it was terrible conditions. And you could come here, it was like the land of Jurassic Park. And catch them just because they love to lay in a hole. They love laying in a hole facing into the tide, waiting for something to swim by. All right, let him go. What do you got? Another bone? Oh, just a little bone. <laughs> He just found out he's hooked. I don't know if I'm ever gonna buy live shrimp again. <laughs> I mean, this is stupid easy. I thought bonefish was supposed to be hard. Well, they are in some places of the world, but not this place in the world. Listen, my friend, if you want to be a TV star, you're going to have to eat a lot more shrimp. Come here, buddy. Come He's here. He's still green. Yeah. You whooped him, Josie. <laughs> Come here, bud. Hey, hey. I got bad news for you on your fish bites. You're gonna need a new one. Wanna bet? <laughs> Thanks, Bubba. Look, bonefish slime. Bahama style, bro. All right, I'm gonna go for one more fish on this thing. Okay, I'm gonna just sit right here, get ready to land them. <laughs> one of the first places that Captain Rick guided was Walker's K. It was there 30 years ago that he learned the fishing grounds all around the Abacos. This was always really beautiful and very inviting, you know? because it had the hills and it was beautifully landscaped and mowed and everything. Walker's K has had a varied history over the last couple of hundred years. Yes, it too was used by the military as an anti-submarine base. But things changed in 1968 when Robert Abplanalp took the island over. He made it a fishing and diving destination 
and from there it became a legendary place for nearshore and offshore enthusiasts and their families. Unfortunately, Hurricanes Francis and Jean destroyed what was once a thriving resort. I gave Greg Norman, the golfer, fly casting lessons right here. Was he any good? No. Pretty cool, bub. Now, how Pretty long cool. did you spend here at one time? This was, what, a couple months of the year? Yeah, so our my business would fall off, my guide business would fall off always in the after tarpon season. So I would spend January through July promoting, you know, coming over here and going bone fishing to the same people that I was fishing January through June. Now, the island is owned by Texas businessman, Carl Allen. He hopes to bring Walker's K back to its former glory as the ultimate sport fishing destination. As we can tell, even though Dorian may have set the timeline back a little, it's on its way. The marina is brand new with pilings and floating docks, and there's a small village with beach areas popping up on the west side of the island. Everyone is excited for the new chapter of Walker's K to begin, and Captain Rick can't wait to see what the new owner has planned. Oh, well, it's beautiful. Brings back a lot of memories, man. Well, I hope we get to enjoy it again when they get all this construction finished. Yeah. Because it's a special place. I mean, what we did yesterday at sail in those weather conditions was one of the best bone fishing days that I've ever had. Yeah. Throwing artificials that way. Yeah. And then today we're going to get jiggy and we're going to go catch a bunch more of those bones. We're going to try to. Yeah, we're going to go try to catch a snapper. You know, we're just so close. How do we not come over here and see what was here 30? 30 years ago was I, when I was here guiding. <laughs> wow. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail, Load, Launch, Relax, Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands, Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia, the American Fishing Tackle Company, any fish, any water, since 1958, the Florida Keys in Key West, Come as you are. And Garmin, join the club. Get him, Gregory. What is it? Oh, uh, the right species, wrong size. Right species, wrong size. He matches my rod, thank you. Mutton snapper. Well, listen. Well, it shows you they like the new penny. Yeah. Like they like the hammer fist. <laughs> oh, yes. It's only a matter of time, Greggy. That's two for two. Two cast, two muttons. It's only a matter of time till Sister Susie comes walking in the door. Okay, bub? Just, just saying, just saying. Keep jigging. Don't change a thing. I think I gotta throw this way though. What you got, Greg? Something big. Here. 
Oh, yeah. It's a giant mutton snapper. Hold on, Greg. What a big mutton, Gregory. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Wow. That's what we were looking for. That's him. I think you called about a 15-pounder you asked for? I asked for a 15-pounder. It'd be nice to just catch one 15-pounder. I think Captain Crab's going to be happy when we bring him home supper. Captain Crab. <laughs> Is that what we'd be referring to Peter, do we? Yeah, that's why nephews call him Captain Crab. OK. Let me get this. SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, I got it. Boy, he was hooked right. good, huh? Yeah, man. And look at that. That fish bite's ready for another mutton. Yeah. What is that one called, hammer fist? No, that one is uh, knuckle buster. Oh, well, that's appropriate. Yeah. Going in the well. Thanks, Mr. Snapper, and that makes Greggy the Snapper King, baby. The next time we meet, you're going to be covered in Francais sauce. <laughs> Francais. The trip was a little windy and a little rainy. But hey, it's the Bahamas. In the end, she makes everything okay. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.